guys it's rose the renegade maker um i decided to head back to shenzhen where i have been living for seven years because there was a really good flight deal which i'll talk about in a minute um i'm right now i'm in thailand because it's chinese new year xinyan kuala so the first thing i did was get my visa it's really important and you probably want to use an agency because who wants to wait at the consulate I've been using ChineseVisaExpress.com for five, six years. Don't use them. They suck. I got my passport back at 9.30 a.m. and I had to go to the airport at 10. So I almost didn't make it uh, because they used, they sent it last minute, they sent it priority mail, which is, there's no time guarantee, and then the uh, post office lost it. So I had to do horrible things, it was terrible. Um, the flight is $500 US from Seattle to Shenzhen three times a week through Shaman Airlines. It's a new flight they started and it was really great. I really enjoyed it so I can highly recommend it even if you're going to Hong Kong. Uh, it's just faster and better than a lot of flights out there. So when you get to the airport there's now they finally finished the train and you can take line 11 into the city um, but you can usually get like a little card called the Shenzhen Tong card, which I'll talk about later. Uh, they didn't have any of the machines or the selling people at the airport, China Logic. So bring either change over 100 RMB at the airport or bring some change so that you can buy a little like token to get into the city. Uh, I stayed in Baishijo, which is an urban village. And the night I got there was a big party for this guy Hans's birthday. He's a, a huge maker, so it was all makers hanging out, and you can see that we were doing some 3D printing. And here's a little bit with this lady called Yi Ping, and she's from Hong Kong, and she's kind of a big deal around here. Uh, Yi Ping, is this your company? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's one of my pieces. Oh, make it light up. I try. Oh, woo. Uh, she is involved with a lot of maker spaces, has a lot of government contacts, and uh, I'll put her WeChat in the information below so you can join her WeChat group. So the next day after I got some rest, I stayed at a cool hotel, which I'll put the link in, in Bai Shijo. I went to get my Shenzhen Tong card. Uh, I stayed in Bai Shijo. It's You can walk to Window of the World or you can take the train. I don't know why there's train stations so close to each other. And there's a guy selling it there. I got a 100 RMB, like, little keychain thing, which you can see here. And it's, it included 50 RMB of ride. And I don't know, I think you have to pay for the keychain and you get a deposit, but I've never figured out how to get the deposit back. So just say goodbye to 50 RMB, okay? Uh, but at least you get on the train and the guys speak English and that's cool. Um, I also went to get a phone card, but they've cracked down on giving cards to foreigners. Uh, I think maybe you can still find like a dodgy place that will sell you a number, but I, I tried really hard. I speak Chinese. I've lived there seven years because uh, my phone number stopped working and uh, I just had to have my friend help me 